Hey, what's up guys? Keenan here. I'm going to give you guys a little update on my injury and uh, just talk about what happened again, what the doctor said and what's going on. So, um, first off, here's my little meal. It's a, a bag of, just a bag of rice. One of the bags you just toss in the microwave. Uncle Ben's, uh, this is butter and garlic, tastes pretty good. So what I do is I add a can of tuna to it. So I'm getting 73 carbs in here. And then that tuna gives me an extra 20 grams of protein with no extra fats or carbs. I know a lot of people don't like tuna, but I think I love tuna. I mean, it's easy, easy, quick protein. So, this will be one of my last meals before surgery because um, after midnight, I am not supposed to take in any more food or any more fluids until surgery. So I'm actually having surgery tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. So tomorrow's gonna be Monday, I think the 28th or 29th, or uh, 28th or March 1st, I don't even know. I don't know what day it is right now and I'm using my phone to make this video so I can't check the date. Anyway, here's the bruise. Um, still looks pretty gross. Uh, the swelling did go down a little bit so my pack doesn't look, it really doesn't look that bad until I go like this. Now you can see you can see where this muscle attaches over here and it is pulled off right here. So the MRI showed that I uh, basically, basically my tendon is still attached to my arm up here, but my pectoralis major tore off of the tendon. So my muscle actually tore away from the tendon and sunk down into my chest. And the tendon is still attached. So the doctor said to fix this, they will have to basically take the muscle, sew it back onto the tendon. And they may even, in some cases uh, for this surgery, they may even have to use a cadaver tendon attended from another body and uh, he said I believe he said they would have to sew my muscle to that tendon to the uh, um, cadaver tendon and then sew that tendon into my tendon and then anchor it into my tendon into my arm so it's it's pretty unfortunate um, it's so hard to believe that I went through this this injury and I'm about to get surgery to have it fixed. I never thought never thought I would be in this situation. I thought I was pretty much you know I thought I was pretty much Superman. I didn't think I'd ever get hurt in the gym, especially since I've been uh, lifting for 10 plus years. Um, I usually always make sure I'm warmed up, uh, but yeah, this time I just, uh, you know, pushed, pushed the weight up a little too much, increased the weight. Uh, my body just wasn't quite used to it yet because now, as you guys have seen me, I've been in my home gym for a long time, so my body isn't still, my body wasn't used to that gym atmosphere, having that full, you know, hour long workout. Cause you know, I was used to lifting for 20, 30 minutes and then just being done. So cranking up the volume, um, just not stretching, not making sure I was warmed up enough. And then trying to basically, uh, try to bench 315. And that's an, that's a, uh, that's a weight I haven't hit in a long time on bench press, like probably a couple years. Um, 
So yeah, that's basically basically why I believe I tore it. Just wasn't ready for it. The doctor also said um, PED use plays a big part. Um, PEDs can weaken your tendons. So, you know, from what he was saying, is this is common for uh, for guys who are. It's more common for guys who use PEDs and you know who are in the gym and lifting heavy. So we'll see how it goes, but you know I do have my hopes up. I, I've got positive energy after seeing uh, Kevin Kevin Lavroni uh, went through the same, basically the same thing. I believe his tendon, though, detached from his arm. So his muscle was still connected to the tendon. The tendon just pulled off the arm. Um, so this surgery is a little tougher from what I've uh, from what I've read. It's a little harder, but I'm so optimistic that I can get back get back in uh, bodybuilding shape. As far as uh, heavy bench press, that's something that I'm not going to even worry about for a long time. Um, I believe that one to six rep range is just, I mean, at this point, it's going to be pointless for me to ever do that again on bench press. And, um, you know, even, even doing barbell bench press is going to be something I'm going to be a little, uh, hesitant to do. Um, you know, I'd like to get, I'd like to do dumbbells, but again, I'm never going to need to go super heavy, you know, eight to 12 rep range or higher even. That's probably something that I'm going to stick with from here on out. Um, just shooting for hypertrophy. So the heavy weight, that might be done for me. I might not because I don't want to. I don't want to re-rupture that. You know, after it heals, after it gets back and it gets strong again, I don't want to rupture it again and have to go through another surgery. So my goal right now is just to get this to heal and get get it as strong as possible. That way, I can get back into bodybuilding. You know this whole side is going to be pretty, um, you know, it's already starting to atrophy a little bit. You can see, yeah, you can see my right arm is bigger for sure. Um, I just can't do a whole lot with this side. Like I tried to do a push up the other day and I just, there's nothing here. Like I get shooting pain right there. I get, you know, all that stress goes to the shoulder now because my chest is just disconnected, so. So yeah, that's, uh, that's it guys. Surgery is gonna be tomorrow, so I'll probably make another video maybe tomorrow night or something or Tuesday. And uh, hopefully surgery goes well. And um, I plan on getting back in the gym soon, like at least, uh, at least to do my legs and you know, work my right arm. I'll work this side, I'm back. I'm even gonna do dumbbells and some, you know, flies on this side. Cause I don't wanna lose muscle. Like I'm already down, I'm already down to 186 pounds right now. So my goal is to not drop below you know, I really don't even want to drop below 185. I'd like to stay around this weight and uh, just maintain the muscle I have. And then as soon as I'm cleared to start doing some type of lifting with my left arm, I will, uh, I'll get this arm back. And um, this pec, this is gonna be, you know, it's gonna be about six months before I can really train this pec very well but I'll be able to train everything else uh, pretty much like normal. So uh, maybe not back because, you know, right here I get some pain over here. 
So rows, stuff like that. Not going to, not really going to do any heavy upper upper body stuff. Probably not even going to do heavy legs. I'm not going to do squats because I can't, I can't even get this arm back far enough without pain. So it'll be leg press. It'll be, uh, it'll be lunges, leg extensions, leg curls. Um, and then it'll just be the right side of my upper body. Everything I can do, um, everything I can do isolation wise. So I'm going to hit this side, just try to keep it going. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll give you guys another update after the surgery. Uh, wish me luck. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, please. And uh, drop a comment, give me some positive vibes. And uh, we'll see you guys after surgery.